Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Thank you for joining me in part 2 of my series in how to cover a cake in ganache and then perfectly cover it with fondant. Today I'll be showing you part 2 which is how to perfectly cover a cake in fondant and by now I hope you've learnt some useful tips from my part 1 tutorial and now have a beautifully ganached cake set up and ready to be covered in fondant. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and let's get started. So when it comes to covering a cake in fondant, the tools I use are a turntable, a pizza cutter, a measuring tape, a cake smoother, a fondant rolling pin, some simple syrup, a pastry brush and of course some fondant and a cake which has already been covered in ganache. So the first thing I like to do is measure how big I need to roll out my fondant. So I'm going to measure from one side across the top and down the other side of my cake and remember that measurement. Next I want to brush my cake all over with a little bit of simple syrup. Simple syrup is just a boiled mixture of water and sugar and brought back down to room temperature. You don't want to put too much on so that your fondant slips off your cake, just enough so that it acts as a glue to glue the fondant down once you put it on. Next I'm going to gently knead my fondant. All I want to do here is make sure it's nice and smooth and there's no air bubbles in it. Then I need to roll it out using my fondant roller to about 2-3 to three millimetres thick. Once I've got a nice large round circle I'm just going to measure it and make sure that it's large enough to cover my cake, remembering the measurement I took in the beginning. And then carefully rolling my fondant onto the rolling pin, I'm going to position my cake directly under the fondant and carefully drape the fondant over the top of the cake. If there's any excess like this here, I'm just going to trim it off because otherwise the weight of this extra fondant is going to pull down on the sides and potentially crack my fondant. Now I can start smoothing down the fondant using my hands to start with. Gently opening up the fondant, it's like the frill of a skirt that I'm opening and concentrating on making sure that the top edge of my cake is nicely stuck down to the cake. So I'm just going to work my way right around the cake making sure the top edge is stuck nicely down, always opening up the frill and pressing down the side of the cake. I'm just doing a gentle rubbing pressure here so I'm not actually dragging the fondant down with my palm. And as I work my way right down to the bottom of the cake, I'm going to use my palm to gently press in the fondant right to the very bottom edge of the cake. Now using my pizza cutter, I'm just going to trim off some of this excess fondant. And then using the cake smoother, I'm going to start smoothing around the sides of the cake. But first I want to press down this little bit of fondant at the bottom. What I'm actually doing is pressing down nice and hard on the fondant at the bottom. This is going to create almost a vacuum seal between the fondant and the bottom edge of the cake. And it's also going to help give a nice edge once I trim off this excess with the pizza cutter. You can see once I've taken away the excess fondant that there is no sign of the cake poking through from underneath the fondant and this is because of the effort of pressing down the fondant right down to the very edge of the cake. Now all I need to do is go back with my cake smoother making sure that the top is nice and smooth as well as the sides and if you do come across any little air bubbles you can easily eliminate them by inserting a sewing pin into the air bubble which will release any trapped air and then you can continue smoothing with the cake smoother. Once you're done you'll be left with a beautiful cake that's got perfectly smooth sides, nice crisp edges and all ready to decorate however you choose. 
Of course, if you have a larger cake to cover with fondant, the process is exactly the same. However, the size of the fondant that you roll out will of course be a lot larger in order to cover a larger cake. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching me take two round cakes and following a few simple steps, perfectly cover them in fondant. If you did enjoy my tutorial, make sure you let me know by giving it a like or drop me a line in the comments section below. Otherwise, you could connect with me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram or Twitter. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you'll see all my creative cakes as I release them. Make sure you check out part one of this series if you haven't already done so on how to ganache a cake. I hope you tune in next time and as always, thanks for watching.